Hey everybody, this is Julie at Two Chicks Quilting, and it's Sunday afternoon, and I had a few minutes to spare to come help out my friend Missy install her new handy hammock. Um, Missy got her new Amara and Pro Stitcher a few months ago, and so she's working on this cool project, and she purchased a handy hammock and was having trouble figuring out exactly where it the the screws that you needed to take out to install your handy hammock. So. This isn't the first time we've gotten that call, so I thought, you know, it's time for a little tutorial. So the handy hammock, if you don't know what it is, is this cool hammock. I'm just gonna hold it up because it's already attached at one end. And this just hangs under your frame to allow your batting to kind of lay in there and to keep it from falling on the floor. So um, the hammock works great to keep your batting clean, up off the floor, out from under your feet. Um, and also, if you like to float your quilts, your quilt, the bottom of your quilt top could lay in that and it keeps it up off the floor. So it comes with some little screws and little knobs that you'd have to take out a couple of, of the bolts on your frame and replace to hang your loops to. Now there are great instructions on here, but if you're not familiar with how the frames are put together, it's a little challenging. So we are going to touch really quickly of how to install this. So first of all, with your frame, you should have received a little tool kit. And it has these three um, little um, screwdriver, or they're not really screwdrivers, they're kind of uh, hex wrenches. And you will need the medium size and the large size. So there's three different sizes, and I don't know exactly what numbers they are because I look at things as small, medium, and large. So medium and large. You will also get a few pieces here. Now we've already installed one in because it's up against the wall and I'll tell you, tell you what I took out of that one. But you receive two of these knobs like this that has a, a screw part on it, two knobs like this, and then two extra bolts. One of them is longer and one of them is short. Um, that go, the longer one is gonna go on the end where your ratchet is, okay? So we've already in, installed the one that took place uh, from the side that does not have a ratchet. So let's take our medium sized hex driver and we are gonna take out the bolt here that goes through our um, ratchet lock. Okay, and you just have to loosen it up. Once you loosen it up, you can pull that bolt out. Now, this piece here, you're going to replace with this longer bolt. The reason being is you still have to go through your, um, your lock that locks your pole into place and through the center, which holds your little peg that holds your lock from flopping, or flopping around. And then you have to use, you're gonna take out the nut that looks like this, and you're gonna replace it with this big one, this big fat one that comes with your hammock. Now notice you do have quite a bit of the bolt sticking out here, and you're just gonna take your bolt here and screw it on. and screw that up really tight. Now your ratchet stays, your lock stays in place there, and you can still lock your pole. The other one you're gonna take out, you will need your large hex driver, and then you're gonna need this part. This, the bolt that you're going to take out, oops, tear up Missy's room here. The bolt that you're gonna take out is the one, it's kind of hard to see here, but it's just right under the side of your frame. And it's this bolt right here. Okay, so we're gonna loosen that up. And I may need my other, if these are pretty tight. Well, I need my, um, my ratchet. I have hand strength issues, so I use a regular ratchet. Just gives me some leverage.
And once you get it loose where you can pull it out with your fingers, it's not that long. So you'll get rid of that and you're gonna replace it with this knob. Now, you're going to pull your handy hammock and loop your elastic around that knob and loop the front elastic around this knob and then your hammock hangs underneath. So if her batting was longer, of course, but she's down to the bottom of her quilt, so you can't really see that, but your batting would hang in here and it would keep it up off the floor and protect it from um, getting dirty and stepped on. So you do that on both ends. Of course, this end down here does not have a ratchet, but it still has that same sort of little nut and um, bolt on the end. You just don't have your ratchet here to replace. You're just going to Pull that little square nut out and replace it with that knob. Okay, so I hope you guys learned something today. And if you have a handy quilter, the handy hammock is a great little accessory to add to your quilting tools because it does help keep your uh, keep your quilt clean. It also kind of gives you a little bit of a, I guess, a little catch down here. I've had it save my clamps before from hitting the floor or when I drop something it lands in the hammock. Um, it, it is a great accessory to have. So if you have a handy quilter just let us know. If you're interested in a handy hammock you can get it at the shop and we will walk you through. You can always watch this video on how to install it. You guys have a great rest of your Sunday and we will talk to you later. Bye!